In honor of November being National American Indian Heritage Month, here are 25 great Native Americans that helped define history. Twenty-five. Wilma Mankiller worked for several years as a leading advocate for the Cherokee people and became the first woman to serve as their principal chief in 1985. After leaving office, she remained an activist for Native Americans and women's rights until her death on April 6, 2010 in Adair County, Oklahoma. 24. Born around 1836 in present-day South Dakota, Touch the Clouds was the son of Chief Lonehorn and Stands on the Ground, and brother to Chief Bigfoot. He stood at about seven feet tall and was known for his incredible strength and skill on the battlefield. He became the chief of the Mini Kanju Teton Lakota and kept his position until his death on September 5, 1905. 23. The Mohawk Indian chief Tyandanega, also known as Joseph Brandt, served as a spokesman for his people, a Christian missionary of the Anglican Church, and a British military officer during the American War of Independence. He is remembered for his efforts in unifying Upper New York Indian tribes and leading them in terrorizing raids against Patriot communities in support of Great Britain's efforts to repress the rebellion. He's also credited with the establishment of the Indian Reservation on the Grand River in Canada, where the neighboring town of Brantford, Ontario bears his name. 22. Tecumseh took part in a series of raids of Kentucky and Tennessee frontier settlements in the 1780s and emerged as a prominent chief by 1800. He transformed his brother's religious followers into a political movement, leading to the foundation of the Prophetstown settlement in 1808. After Prophetstown was destroyed during the Battle of Tippecanoe, the Shawnee chief fought with pro-British forces in the War of 1812 until his death in the Battle of the Thames. 21. Interestingly, in 1614, Squanto was one of the first Native Americans to travel to Europe when he was kidnapped by English explorer Thomas Hunt, who brought him to Spain, where he was sold into slavery. He escaped, eventually returning to North America in 1619, where he aided the pilgrim settlers at Plymouth, until his death in 1622. 20. Sitting Bull was a Teton Dakota Indian chief under whom the Sioux tribes united in their struggle for survival in the Great Plains. He joined his first war party at age 14 and soon gained a reputation for his bravery and skill in battle. In 1868, the Sioux accepted peace with the U.S. government, but when gold was discovered in the Black Hills in the mid-1870s, a rush of white prospectors invaded Sioux lands. He once again fought bravely but was arrested and killed in 1890. 19. Chief Joseph was a Nez Perce chief who, faced with settlement by whites of tribal lands in Oregon, led his people in a dramatic effort to escape to Canada. When the U.S. attempted to force the Nez Perce to move to a reservation in 1877, Chief Joseph reluctantly agreed. However, after the murder of a group of white settlers, tensions erupted again, and Chief Joseph tried to lead his people to Canada in what is considered one of the greatest retreats in North American military history. 18. Sacagawea was a legendary Indian woman who led Lewis and Clark on their famous expedition to find the Pacific Ocean. She was a Shoshone interpreter and the only woman on the expedition into the American West. In 2000, almost 200 years after her death, she was featured on a dollar coin issued by the U.S. Mint in honor of her contribution to the Corps of Discovery. 17. Born in Nebraska in 1822, Lakota Chief Red Cloud was an important figure in the 19th century land battle between Native Americans and the U.S. government. He successfully resisted developments of the Bozeman Trail through Montana Territory and led the opposition against the development of a road through Wyoming and Montana for two years, a period that came to be known as Red Cloud's War. He died in South Dakota in 1909. 16. Very few Choctaws from the early 1800s are better known than Pushmataha. The man who negotiated several well-publicized treaties with the U.S. and led Choctaws in support of the Americans during the War of 1812 is mentioned in nearly all the histories that include the Choctaws. 15. 
Ira Hayes was a Pima Indian born in Sacaton, Arizona on January 12, 1923. On August 26, 1942, he enlisted in the Marine Corps Reserve in Phoenix during World War II, and a few years later he made history by becoming the only Native American to participate in the famous World War II flag raising on February 25, 1945 on Mount Suribachi in Iwo Jima. 14. Despite not knowing as much as we might think about Pocahontas' life, her story has fascinated people for more than four centuries and still inspires people today. She became a Disney figure, and her interracial love story will undoubtedly continue to inspire people all over the world. 13. Maria Tallchief was a revolutionary American ballerina who broke barriers for Native American women. She grew up in LA, where she studied ballet for many years. Her career spanned the globe and led to a short marriage to George Balanchine. She died on April 11, 2013, at 88 years old in Chicago, Illinois. 12. Keokuk was a chief of the Sauk tribe in Central North America, noted for his policy of cooperation with the American government, which led to conflict with the Black Hawk, who led part of their band into the Black Hawk War. Keokuk County, Iowa, and the town of the same name where he is buried, are named after him. 11. In November 2002, John Harrington became the first tribally enrolled Native American Indian astronaut to go to outer space during NASA's STS-113 flight. 10. Of Native American and European ancestry, Jim Thorpe won Olympic gold medals for the 1912 pentathlon and decathlon, played American football at the collegiate and professional level, and played professional baseball and basketball too. In a poll conducted by ABC Sports, he was voted the greatest athlete of the 20th century. 9. Chief Pontiac became known for his role in Pontiac's Rebellion, an American Indian struggle against the British occupation of the Great Lakes area. He enlisted support from other Indian tribes and staged attacks of British forts, but eventually agreed to sign a peace treaty in July 1766. He was murdered by a Peoria Indian in 1769. 8. Hiawatha was a prehistorical Native American leader and co-founder of the Iroquois Confederacy. Depending on the source of the narrative, he was the leader of the Onondaga, the Mohawk, or both. According to some sources, he was born in Onondaga, but adopted into the Mohawk. 7. Hakata, better known as Charles Eastman, was one of the first Native Americans to become certified as a medical doctor after he graduated from Boston University. In the early 20th century, he was considered one of the most prolific authors and speakers on Sioux ethno-history and American Indian affairs. Additionally, he's considered the first Native American author to write American history from the Native point of view. 6. On November 3, 1992, Ben Nighthorse Campbell of Colorado made history by becoming the first Native American to serve in the U.S. Senate in more than 60 years. A member of the Northern Cheyenne tribe, he was also a world-famous athlete and captain of the U.S. Judo team for the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. 5. Born sometime between 1840 and 1845, Crazy Horse was an Oglala Sioux Indian chief who took part in the Battle of Little Bighorn. In 1877, he surrendered, but was killed in a scuffle with soldiers. Long after his death, he is still revered as a visionary leader who fought hard to preserve his people's traditions and way of life. 4. Leader of the Chiricahua, Chief Cochise was one of the great Apache Indian leaders who fought against Anglo-Americans. He led an uprising against the American government in 1861 and died in 1872. Cochise County, Arizona is named after him. 3. Sequoia was a half-Cherokee inventor who, after being injured in a hunting accident, became a silversmith. In 1809, he started creating a simple Cherokee alphabet consisting of 86 symbols and in 1821 introduced it to the Cherokee Council. For the next 20 years, he traveled and taught his language until his death in 1843. 2. Born in 1767 in the Virginia colony, Black Hawk was the leader of a faction of Sauk and Fox Indians. He joined the British in several battles in the War of 1812 
and in 1832 he led his people across the Mississippi to resist further white settler encroachment. 1. Geronimo was born in June 1829 in Nodion Canyon, Mexico. He fought European colonization in the southwest by participating in raids into Sonora and Chihuahua. After years of war, he finally surrendered to American troops in 1886 and spent the last two decades of his life as a prisoner of war. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.